guys, welcome to my updated makeup collection 2015. I did one of these a year ish ago and I wanted to update with you guys. Giving you a heads up and a forewarning if you don't like these collections, please click out of it and don't leave me a nasty comment. If you do, keep on watching because a lot of you guys have asked, or a few of you guys have asked, about my makeup collection and everything. So I'm giving you a heads up. I don't have as much as most people, but I don't have like a minimum. So, I'm just going to kind of go through everything that I have, all of my furniture, everything that I show will generally be described in the info bar down below, so measurements and types of furniture will be listed down below. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start. These are the Ikea drawers. The top of the drawers are the ones that mostly have all of the makeup. The ones on the bottom has like skincare and facial stuff and not all of those drawers are actually filled with makeup, just a few. So um, you'll see in the video of how things are portrayed and how they are laid out, kind of smooshed together and kind of not. So I'll do my best to describe. First drawer is like face products, a little bit of eye products. Um, just a general vicinity of everything, face primers, um, eyeshadows, um, glitters, pigments, BB creams, primers, um, pretty much there's the face powders, press powders, and then down over here we have up closer all of my powders that are loose, pressed, anything sample-like, that's a MAC, that's an Urban Decay, that's a Tarte sample like smooth operator I believe and then right there is the infallible pressed powder it's pretty cool the urban decay pressed powder and that is in zero one light I believe well I dropped that <laughs> naked light I like the powder but I don't like a lot of the liquidy stuff um, this is the Naked Illuminator BB cream um, this are the fit me's the matte and the dewy then I have the infallible, I have this BB, this Physician's one. I really like this, it actually matches my skin tone, can you believe it? If you know Physician's formula, you know that the foundations go a little dark. That was a Dream Wonder, the infallible Pro Matte, which is okay, not the best. This is why I keep most of my concealers, that's the CoverGirl Deep Puff Concealer. It's okay, it's okay. Um, that's the Illuminator, that's the Maybelline one. Um, and I believe that's in a light or illumination. I apologize. And that's the Makeup Forever HD Foundation, one of my favorites. These are liquid eyeshadows by Josie Moran. I got that for Christmas. This is a glitter by Wet n Wild. And then I don't use that much, but I do use it. Um, this is the NYX Angelville um, Face Primer, the Too Faced Shadow Candlelight Insurance Eye Primer. And these are the NYX Pore Filler, the Magic Lumi um, Face Primer. That's the Face Defender by Melly. I'm not a fan. I just, I don't know, I'm just not a fan. The Wet n Wild is a good dupe for the Too Faced Hangover. These are the Lorac Luster Drops. I got those around Christmas time. And these are where I keep most of my cream eyeshadow pencils. That's Laura Mercier I got from a, um, vlog, a blog sale. Let me pronounce that there. It's like emerald green. These scandalized ones are freaking amazing. Those are like Ray Rimmel. I have a couple of those. That's the rose goldy one. I like that a lot. I use that sometimes as a great base. And then these are eyeliners, you guys. It's all my pencil eyeliners. Melly. I have Queen K. These are pigments by MAC. These are the ones from Christmas time. Um, and then there's NYX pigments. This is Jessie's Girl. This is the color Molten. Not my favorite. Um, that's the glitter glue stuff I use for pigments when I put them on my eyes. And these are the infallible pressed eyeshadows. These are freaking amazing, you guys. Over here, we have all cream-ish products. Those are the eye art ones by Revlon. They are okay. Not the best. I have two of those. You'll see me struggling here. That's the green one. So all the cream eyeshadows. Some of them are not open for reasons. That's the MAC Rubenesque eyeshadow base. Um, there are lots of these in here. Those are the NYX Prism eyeshadows. Those are so gorgeous. I need to get a lot more. That's Girl Talk. 
and I depotted it. I tried and that's what happened. I'm so sad you guys. So, so sad. Over here is more cream products. There's a, um, that's the flower one. Um, that was an Ipsy one. These are physicians and those are ColourPop. Those are amazing, amazing. These are the physician formula shimmer strips. This is the Revlon Lux one. I can't think of what the name of it is, but it was so hard. Moving on to this drawer, you guys, is eyeshadows, eye stuff. These are like eye lashes that I hardly ever use. These are mink ones I got in a subscription box, which I haven't used, but are amazing. The Sephora ones I got in a Christmas gift, single ones that I use for models. Got that from Hannah when she sent it from Australia. Salon Perfect. Just a vicinity. I got that in an Etsy bag. Um, and those are like eBay ones. Those are all mascaras. This is Rimmel. We have my favorites. Like, the Falsies is my favorites. The Voluminous was a swap item. And then the Carbon Black, my favorite, you guys. I love, love this stuff. Wonder Lash. It's okay. It's the Rimmel one. I have that one in my purse. And that one I'm a little freaked out about. That powdery stuff. I don't know about, you know? You put my eye stuff here, my eye glue, tweezers, eyelash cases. Those are for my um, Z palettes. You know, just a variety of stuff that I'll use for my eyeballs to make things go much smoother. <laughs> Couldn't even keep my word there, you guys. Um, the drawer there is empty because I did a bunch of purging. This is all like face stuff. Oh, is it insane? Oh, sorry, you guys. Sorry. So blushes, um, and start here. Um, these are the Mac ones. I like these a lot. I've been using these a lot in the summertime. Um, I hate the packaging, you guys. The struggle is real. See, haven't even used it. Still got the container. Um, those are the mineralized skin finishes. Um, that's another one. I only have two of them. Not a lot. They're super expensive, but they're super pretty. These are the Tarte ones from Christmas and regular size Tarte blushes. They're amazing. Um, those ones, these tart blushes last forever. That one was flushed, so it's very pretty, and that's captivating. I got that from um, Sephora during a time I saw someone else using it. I was like, oh, I gotta have it. Milani and Flower Beauty. Flower Beauty's got beautiful packaging. It's from. It's pretty cool because you put it on your hands. And it's like a powder, and then once you put it on your hands, it forms into like a gel. Pretty amazing stuff. Wet n Wild Center Stage Collections, those are freaking amazing. They're like dupes for NARS colors, like the Orgasm and stuff like that. Oh, if you guys can get your hands on those, get those. That's a sleek, that's in rose gold. Very pretty, very pretty. Used it a couple times to swatch, but not a lot. That is NARS. That one is Dusk or Luster, I believe. Um, I have the Flushed Palette by Naked. I only have one, you guys. Um, it's okay. It's not It's not my favorite, but it is pretty. It's got a blush, bronzer, and highlighter. And, oh my gosh, I need to use this, but it's the Ambient Lighting Blush Powder by Hourglass. So, so, so pretty. Um, I think I may have swatched it once, but... I need to go and use it again just because, you know, the backs, the cheeky palette. I'm going to put those stuff back. Here's all the bronzers and highlighters. Let's go ahead and start with the bronzers. So, that's the Happy Booster right there. Um, that's another blush that fell in there. So, there's Happy Booster. It's got the cute little beads in it. Milani. Oh, I love that. I was going to get rid of it, but I decided not to. Um, it's an amber nectar. It can go for a light bronzer and it doesn't have too much shimmer so you can like literally go to town with that. Hula, not my favorite but it's hanging around. And this Laguna bronzer, cult favorite. Tarte, um, Amazonian, I don't know. That's a Tarte liquid stuff. That's the highlighter from Maybelline. It's cool. The, um, semen luminizer, Too Faced Candlelight. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Max Soft and Gentle, again, another thing I haven't used. I apologize. I need to use my makeup more. Laura Mercer, that's the bronze. The Mosaic, Peach Mosaic, very pretty. You can use it as a highlighter or a blush. It's your choice of what you want to do with it. But for me, I'm just staring at the back trying to show you guys how amazing that is. See, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. 
Hourglass Ambient Powder. I've used this thing to tons. It's so messy. Forewarning. It's so chalky. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But if you use a fan brush, it's good. That is a Chi Chi powder from Australia that was sent to me from Australia. The Naked Body Shine Illuminator, whatever you want to call it. And then right here is we just have a brow, like the glittery stuff from NYX. Um, these are amazing. If you guys can get these roll-on shimmers, they're so, so pretty. You guys, I was saying what the names were, but guess what? The video didn't work out very well. Those are Revlon Skin Lights. I had these when I was starting out and I liked it a lot. Derma Blend. I'm still trying those out. And then these are the brow products that I currently have. Very, very fascinating. And then there is a duo by Ulta. I haven't yet tried that, but hey, what about? That NYX Tame Frame is really dark. And the Cocoa Contour by Too Faced, which is cool. An empty, empty drawer where I used to put all of my lip items, but now I move those into my Muji drawers, which you'll see in a little bit. Here I have some empty bags, some empty palettes, empty Z palettes. You know, it's just kind of like a storage. It's like a throw catch-all. Um, that's from the two bags I used to get from Ipsy. That's just another story. Here's all my skincare. Oh, so much. I need to get through it. Those white bottles are A1 makeup removers because I got a good deal on it. This is my drawer that I use for my everyday makeup. I have a variety of things. Um, this is like, gosh, like my lip items. That's the Totally Moly, the Marvelous, uh, Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie, um, some lip therapies, and some lipstick by Kat Von D. This is probably one of my favorite nudes. Um, there goes my tripod. I apologize, but it's really, really pretty. Um, it does kind of make your lips look a little concealed. Alcohol, so that way I can spray down everything after I use it. I've learned my lesson, you guys. Not even kidding. This is mascara. That's a blue mascara. Um, this is the CK1 mascara that Ulta got from Ulta. That was the Tarte Brow Gel, Anastasia, Brow Wiz. Um, and that's in the shade Caramel, I believe. A NARS Pencil Sharpener. Fun, fun, fun. That is a makeup removal pen and some curlers. Makeup forever powder, which is not the best, I'm telling you. I don't like it as much as I really want to, but it's all right. It's all right. Um, that's the MAC Luna Cream Highlighter. And that is the Laura Mercier 01 Highlighter. I really like that. It's so, so pretty. So pretty. Tarte, I mean not Tarte, Too Faced, Chocolate Soleil, Milk Chocolate, my favorite. Those are all primers. That's Smashbox, that's Professional. Let's see here. There's Blue Tube is Too Faced Shadow Insurance. That is Dusty Rose by Stila. That's a magnificent metal. It's my favorite, you guys. It's probably up there next to Kitten, I'm telling you. That is Benefit RSVP. I love that stuff. Um, this is the second container that I've been through, but I will continue to purchase it. And then this is a duplex, uh, deluxe sample. The light pink one was a primer. Um, and then that's a beauty blender. We all know what those are. The knockoffs from Real Techniques. But hey, it works. That flat side is divine. And then I have powder brushes. I use that flat foundation brush for putting powder on my face when I want to powder up and then that's a lip brush and these are all Sigma brushes I kind of just keep the brushes I'm using in the middle just because <laughs> um there's another eye brush um I don't think any of those are max I do have a Mac one but I don't know it I don't think that one that's my favorite pencil brush actually yeah that's a Sigma one my favorite pencil brush that's the BB cream by Philos uh, Physicians Formula and Amazing. It actually works well and it's not as dark as most of them are. Laura Mercier Rose Gold. This is Stila Eyeliner. Stila Cobalt. And then this um, Junky and something else. It's the 24-7 Urban Decays. That's the Bare Minerals Concealer. That's the Fit Me Concealer. And um, I think that's the lightest shade just for reference. And then, the one next to it is the Maybelline AG1. I think that's um, a 01, I believe. I like it a lot, um, and but I like the Fit Me a lot 
better just because. Um, and then I have just the palettes I've been using. I've been using the Naked 2 and the Naked 1. I've just been trying to rotate my palettes so that way I can show them some love. But, you know, I don't show them as much love as I really want to because you'll see why. They are pretty brand new, but I probably should throw that in like a panda palette or something. Naked 2 is my favorite. You can see I've, I've already repurchased the YDK eyeshadow in a single so, yeah, and then back there is just like my brush roll for my Sigma. Oh, be prepared. These are my palettes. Um, I don't, I kind of just tucked them in there, but um, I don't have, I did clean them out, and I don't have as many as I used to. All right, so, <laughs> I know it looks really, 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 really bad, you guys. <sighs> anyway, so go ahead and start here. That's the Dior, um little eyeshadow quad. I got that from Sephora using a secret code. I've used it a few times um, after this video, of course. It's okay. It's not like perfect, but yeah. There's the Tarte Away We Go. That's the center stage Fergie one. Very pretty. Tartlet, I've still got it in the box because guess what? I haven't used it yet, which I need to. So let's go ahead and pop this out of the box and take a look at it. So it's all matte shades, um, super pretty. Um, that's the Naked 1 and 2 Basics. Not my favorite for number 2, Too Faced Rock and Roll. I wanted these palettes so bad, you guys. The Cat Eyes by Too Faced, don't judge. The Smokes, got this as a gift. We'll never get rid of it. And the Lorac Pro, great for travel. I have some Christmas um, Lorac palettes that has like single ones. It's like the Princess Collection or Royal Highness Collection or I don't know what it's called. Pulp Fiction. I haven't used that one either. And then in the um this in the Soul or something like that. I got it because it has a kitten one. Urban Decay smoked. I pulled the pencil out just because. And that is the naturally pretty It Cosmetics Lorac Gold and Lorac Unzipped. These are pretty but very, very powdery. Forewarning you, Too Faced Chocolate Bars 1 and 2. So basically the semi three and the regular one. And then I made this one with all of my extra ones floating around. The Naked on the Run and the Vice 3 Palette. The Vice Unlimited Edition Palette. Naked 3 Palette. And the Lorac Pro 2. And a new Tude. Electric, I've been playing around with this one, you guys. And then the Christmas one from Too Faced. Very pretty. The MAC one, MAC palette, fully put together. It's alright. I use that one a lot. I've already finished it, you guys. Um, two of the Tarte Summer and Christmas palettes. Uh, they're okay. Um, and then Everything Nice by Too Faced. I love this palette. Up on top, I have all of the makeup that I generally use on a day-to-day -day basis. I try to. I try. I do my best. <laughs> um, these are all the lipsticks that I'm trying to use first. My Laura Mercier, my Love Spell Lotion. Um, that's the YSL. I got that from my friend Melissa. I have a Dior. That's Angelique. And that's the Physician's Formula glitter primer in the back, um, the top, um, tubes, the gold ones are the Too Faced Lick Rims, Max Fix Plus, Daily Brush Corner, I love that stuff, but it sprays everywhere, so you have to really just kind of keep an eye on it. Here is my lipsticks, this is where I keep all of my lipsticks, the glosses, chapsticks, all that stuff, so let me go ahead and bring that down for you guys. Um, here I have all higher-ended lip products. Here are the Sephora, there's two of the Sephora lip pencils, um, like the Chubby Crowns. Those came out on holiday. They're okay. They're pretty pigmented, but they're all alright. Next ones are the Bite set, if you guys saw that in, I think I did a haul on that one. That's the four colors that Bite came out with this last Christmas. That's a Tarte Chubby Pencil, and these are two Chubby Pencils Deluxe Size ones, so one light, one dark color. 
Here is a MAC, I think this is Whirl, and then these are the pencils I have, not a lot, they're Milani, um, and Jordana, I believe, and that was an Urban Decay liner as well. Here is my high-end lip glosses, that's the Buxom and Dolly, um, a Tarte lip gloss, Mally Sunburst, a Lalila, Kat Von D, that's the Sephora one, that's Sephora 01, it's pretty, but it balls up, um, this are the Lorac Christmas lip glosses that came out. Um, quite a few of those. This is a Kat Von D Bachelorette, I believe. Sephora lip glosses. I like those a lot, the Sephora lip glosses. And these are the Tarte Deluxe Mini Size Travel lip glosses that came in the Christmas set. That's the Laura Mercier lip gloss. Pretty pretty. That's one of the MAC... Water Deities, it's one of the aqua thing with robbers. I don't know. Um, that is the MAC Miley lip gloss, and then that is a Russian lip gloss by Tarte. OCC lip tars, these are the benefit lip glosses that came in that Christmas calendar. So I've already did a video on those, they're okay. Um, this is the dandelion, the benefit dandelion, that's the almost black honey clinique. That is a Josie Moran Lip and in Cheek Infinity, like, lip product thing. <laughs> and there's another one, Endless Pink, and one, I think that's in Coral. These are um, the Sephora lip glosses. Super pretty, you guys. Very, very pretty. I would definitely go back in my more. I got this one discounted kind of like, five bucks. And these are the Too Faced Melted Lip stain lip glosses, um, whatever you want to say it. Down here I keep like lipsticks. Um, this is a makeup forever, I believe. Oh no, the Smashbox. That's the Tarte Coral something. Um, and then that's the double ended bite in Palomino in Lishy, I think. And it came out last year around holiday time. A Color Whisper by Maybelline. Um, so I keep a couple drugstores in here. Um, this is an HD Revlon or CoverGirl. I'm not exactly sure, but one of their lipsticks that just came out. This is one of the All Me Smart Shade ones that came out in the summertime, I believe. And then these are the... Um, um, I believe those are the lip butters. That is a lipstick, the new ones that came out. And then these are more of the Maybelline, the Vivid Colors. So there's only a few of those. This is a really pretty purple one. It almost reminds me of, God, it's like a MAC color. Um, but I don't know. This is one of my other favorite ones. It's like a Lust for Blush. I don't like matte lipsticks that much. Um, I believe this one is not a matte one, but it's kind of got a shine, but shine. Oh my god, I can't talk today. Um, and then this is one of the nudes collection for, oh man, I want to say this is Revlon as well. All of these lipsticks are generally all Revlon. It's like a spiced one. I saw someone in their YouTube video have this, and I had to go out and get one. And then this is, oh, this is the matte one, um, I believe, like blush or something like that. Um, I will have to do a updated video collection with all of the names if I had to, you know, if you guys wanted to know. And then up on top I have Urban Decay and Bite Beauty. The Bite Beauty is one for Rouge. Um, when you become Rouge you get one of those. And then this one is from um, Urban Decay. It's pretty pink but I didn't really dig the uh, types of formulations from those, but, you know, everybody's different. That's another one of them, so, you know, it's alright. It's alright. No, it's not going to be a bad situation. Here is all of my lip glosses from Drugstore. Um, you know, I really like those elixirs. They, I think that they're really nice formulations. Um, I do find that they have a really sweet, like, taste of them. Um, the NYX ones right there are not my favorite, but, you know, they're, they're make-do, so 
if you ever want some of these elixir lip glosses, the nice thing is that when you have these, these are the elixir ones, if you have them, you'll always know if they go off in smell because they have a sweet candy smell to them. Um, and they go on either opaque or they go on clear. Um, this is probably one of my favorite, like, shinier ones. I like the pinks and everything, but, you know, I bought a few of mine at Walgreens and they were so expensive. I should have went to Walmart, but I don't think Walmart ever had them. But these came out, um, in the middle of this year or maybe last year. Um, and I've always been a fan of them, so I picked up a few more, and I don't know. I have mixed emotions about them, um, but, you know, it's all that, but, you know, you live and you learn, as they say, so I think this one was probably my favorite. That is one of the last color pencils I have from Revlon. Um, I think it's Love Struck off the top of my head, but yeah, I think it is Love Struck. Very, very pretty, very, very pink, um, and very pigmented. I tell ya, I tell ya. Um, the next one is that Jordana Modern Matte, you guys. This stuff is pretty to a point. It dries out my lips, so I have to put a chapstick underneath before I, like, wear it. So I'm kind of on the fence if I'm actually going to keep this one or if I'm going to pass it along to a friend. I'm just not exactly too sure yet. Um, but... You know, I'll I'll figure it out. Um, this one here is the new NYX lip glosses that came out. When I put this on my lips, I wasn't too fond of the color. There's more. As you can tell, they are still wrapped because I'm not exactly sure. Like this one. This one's in Funnel Cake, I believe. It's okay. Um, you know, NYX is NYX. Um, some of them's good, some of them's not, and then this one is a clear, and, um, I think it's just a regular NYX Butter Gloss, so, nothing special about it, but, you know, it is pretty, it is pretty, so, if you want a nude color, I would go for this one. This is basically my lip gloss drugstore. This is the only Lilac one I have from the drugstore. I got rid of a lot of them. It's really pretty, but I'm... Deciding if I actually want to have that one or just use like the bite one. Um, this is one of the ones I got recently. I love this color. I'm not sure off the top of my head what it's called. Again, I'm doing a voiceover and I don't know where this is at currently. It's somewhere in my purse, but it is very, very pretty. Um, these Lamats and oh, I should have never got these. I shouldn't. I should have learned and should have looked at reviews. They are not my favorite. I don't know if I'm going to keep them. Um, again. I don't know if I just have dry lips or whatnot, but they settle into my fine lines, which is a bad thing, and they don't stay on, so I will determine and let you guys know. Provoca lips. Oh my gosh, you guys. This stuff is horrible. The Rimmel Provoca lips. I don't know why people love this thing. I did not like it at all. Um, it smelled funky, and it was time to go. Um, this one is the L'Oreal Two-Step. Again, not a good product. Not a good product at all. I'm ready to chuck it out the door. I'm telling you. This stuff falls up on your lips. It looks so gross. Um, this one is, I'm not sure where I got this one, but I really like this one. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure what it's called, but you know what? It's all good. Um, these are the HD lip glosses by CoverGirl. I want to say the CoverGirl. The very, very thin, very pretty, but they're very, very thin. Um, the pink one's kind of a neon. So I think I got that in the summer of last year. And then that nude one is like what I got around the summertime as well. But they're good. But as, as I said, they are thin. So you have to keep on reapplying. This is the Palladio Lee 11th Gorgeous one. I was sent this from my friend, Melissa. Um, thank you, Melissa, if you're watching this. Um, and then these are the Lip Lovers. I love these. I like the Lava Lishy, I think that's what it is. Um, I first saw these through Toddy's video and I hunted them down and I found them and I really, really like them. Um, the one on the bottom is probably my favorite one. Um, but you know what? It's all good. They're both good and I like them a lot. And then this is a Flower Beauty lip gloss. Um, 
Uh, someone else on YouTube had it, and I went and picked it up, too. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I got these for Christmas. I got these for my mother-in-law. <laughs> um, these are the beauty rushes. I wanted these for so long, you guys. And then I finally got them. And there's so many of them. Again, I think one of my big issues is when I see a lot of product, it causes anxiety. So I really need to go through this. And this is part of that minimizing things um, I'm telling you about. There's not much more you can say about these, but they're good. They're good glosses, but they are kind of sticky. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know if these are things that I would totally recommend. These are... Um, actually, no, these are the LA Girl Lays. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are thinking ahead of my thing. Um, but yeah, these are the l lip glazed ones. And then these are the, um, Beauty Rush ones from Victoria's Secret. Ugh, the first ones are LA Girl Glazed. And the second ones that I'm looking at now is the Beauty Rush ones. Sorry, you guys, it is super late, and I am doing this video and doing a voiceover for you guys. Um, but yeah, the Booty Rush ones are good. The Lip Glaze LA Girl ones are good, too. I ordered those from eBay um, a while back, and I've used a few of them up, but not all of them. But I think this Booty Rush right here is probably my favorite. This is a menthol one, and, you know, it's all right. It, it's like a good chapstick to freshen your breath, I guess you could say. <laughs> Um, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not knocking it. It's, it's good stuff. It really is. I, I swear. I swear, you guys, it's good stuff. That's why I have so many of these laying in this drawer. Alright, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!